Hey my people, the Airbnb is now coming together and I'm now at the point in my journey where I'm ready to get decor. So let me take you on a journey with me for decor shopping. Specifically, I want a sofa set for the Airbnb. So I'm going to take a trip to Courts to Singer and ultimately I go to LP Azar to see how is it I can make my dream come alive to get the right sofa set with a theme that matches what the color scheme is for the Airbnb. So let's go guys. So I started first with cords to look at sofa. Like this is not really something that would go with my theme with the red. Um, not really my style either and um this one this one was very bright red not something that would flow with the theme that i have um so as i went through courts i saw things that you know they were either out of the theme or boy may i tell you the price range them that not pretty this never bought 115 thousand for all um, three pieces this is locally made um, but again the color not really my thing I love this rug I don't think it would be best on the Airbnb but I like it this probably would be a better fit it was on clearance three piece two hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars so you know about a little over a quarter million um for that that could work for me but me not like the price this one ninety five thousand. this is a one piece this is more like a day bed type thing that you can fall out into a day bed i would consider putting this in one of the rooms but definitely not the main thing in the living room because the airbnb can accommodate up to six people and if i push it i can probably accommodate um seven or so so that would not be enough just so one piece of sofa so this one but definitely like i'm a hearthstone type person and i love the suede it reminds me of what is in my personal um living room space earth tone loving it um but i don't think i like the price too much so you know just continue shopping around um this again is a locally made piece eighty nine thousand for that piece or i believe for for all three of them i'm um, just showing you guys some little decor pieces that i saw on the table this don't bad but you kind of um i would need probably an additional two pieces to go with um my space so this one not bad enough but you see the color how light it is i want to put this in an airbnb people come in from all walks of life everybody is not going to treat your space the way how you would treat it um so even though i liked it i like the number of pieces and the size mm -mm, it would not take crowd well i don't believe it would this gray one that does that one piece alone 119 toes or so you know this out of my out of my budget this is 229 for that piece alone um and then this one over here is another big money when you look at the three of them you're probably spending more than half a million dollars so courts have some nice pieces that could work but people i am on a budget this is a business investment i want something sturdy i want something that looks good i want something that flows with the decor but i am not willing to break the bank and this is just a position that you have to take sometimes when you are looking towards building 
a dream a business you have to have you know a certain budget that you're working in i like this little table you know i like it twenty two thousand. i think i'm going to consider buying that for the living room the blue not bad but definitely not within my theme so but if somebody has blue decor i think that looks pretty good that's an interesting table i love that so pull your eyes guys pull your eyes look and take it in i don't like the pink against that gray the sofa not bad but i would throw away these, these cushions just and then they do it to the full chair just not not for me probably more of a girly theme for something else oh yes this is five hundred and eighty nine thousand. i love these sofas you know i love them i love that big section of half a circle type thing really cool when i went courts had a lot of things on clearance but you don't know as i say save the money buy the things in cash don't buy things on higher purchase higher purchase is a nightmare i've never bought on higher purchase but i've heard the stories guys so yeah looking to see if anything is here in my budget that also works with my theme that is also strong durable and can take the airbnb traffic you see how much criteria i have i have so many this is a little day bed type thing too that can follow that's not bad this is cool to put at the end of a bed that if somebody had an extra guest you could like fold it out into a bed so i like that this one not bad not bad at all i like the cushions i like the color i like the theme but i'm also trying to challenge myself to work with something different than what i have in my personal living room space which i do have a very earthy brown tone um so i also want to step outside of that but this is not bad so guys i also went to singer and i'm just going to zoom in and show you the pieces that i was actually interested in i love this sectional it was 300 and something thousand um i believe and there was also this piece that is also a sectional that transforms into a bed so metal is say it nice it very very nice but after tax this was over four hundred thousand dollars it is something that i would probably buy so that's the transformation there I would buy it for my family for my personal space because I could see a family sitting down and chilling in that space um, but that's a real heavy investment I believe for an Airbnb so there you go there's the price but I really did love it so after all this walking up and down and looking between courts and singer I said to myself you know what I do have a sofa that I've been meaning to wrap now look at it guys it's earth tone you know i love earth tone but i also wanted it not just to be brown earth tone but i wanted it to connect to that accent wall with the tiles i created so right now the accent wall is more olive green um and the sofa is brown i don't think they're gelling well i mean they could go but you know I think the details is where it's at ensuring that the visitors to the Airbnb get a nice aesthetically pleasing experience where things come together so it's when I'm shopping all a picture the color the paint and the wall I walk with because I need it to come together so next step we need to find the material that matches this wall so that brought me to lp hazard people this place is massive when i said the collection of material there it's off Marasca road in the crossroad area so if you need material i would say go check it out so if you're looking i mean that suede material was so smooth and nice they had great tones you name the tone you are looking for you can find it green blues purples everything white earth tones browns um even some of the material they see um at lp looks like material that are actually used to 
you know wrap some of the sofa that you see in courts some of the price them prices see that price three thousand five hundred that's per yard per yard so i went in i was quite impressed by the collection a whole different type now i'm gonna pause here look at this don't forget this guys this material i fell in love with three thousand eight hundred per yard that green with the leaf but i like it so i actually get it and i'm gonna show you later what i did with it love 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 that material it pricey it though but you know i think it gave me an option to do what it is that i love so take it in take in all the material that are there the nicer they are the smoother they are the more pricey they are i never know that material could cost so much per yard and all of those are plus stacks but i also have more cheaper options too throughout the store but when you say material so i'm here now just searching looking for something that actually matches the olive green i'm also looking for an a piece of cloth that i can use to make cushions that will match back to the honey blonde color i have on the wall so it was interesting because i this was the first time i am going in this area in the store and as i said i was pretty impressed with the collection i'm actually thinking about going back and getting material to make drapes um curtains for the airbnb area so one particular fabric that i like kind of blend the honey blonde with the gray and white you know that's the dominant color for me in the airbnb so when i saw these i was like yes this would make great curtains that just tie back into the theme because i don't want the place to look schizophrenic i want it to look like it was deliberately created this way so guys remember i'm still on the hunt for the olive green um, material so went through the the store and i saw these options i'm not too like them they're kind of traditional and they're kind of coarse too i'm looking for something that is a little bit more suede like that's like 400 dollars um, a yard so very affordable but again not exactly what i'm going for i want a nice soft um finish so i went through just like rows and rows and rows of material um and then i started to see more suede so, so you see that olive green i bought it with the stitching and then i also bought a version of it without the stitching pattern and that is what i'm going to use to make the sofa so i found this guy on tiktok that wrap sofa and i'm gonna show you now the finished product so here it is guys the final product the sofa wrapped in olive green all the materials for both the sofa and the cushions were bought at lp azar matching it against my color palette for the airbnb it works for me i am pretty much okay i'm fine with how it is all coming together um the cushion in the middle the picture doesn't give it a lot of justice it's much closer to the honey blonde but it's just not coming out in the image so when we wrapped the sofa we changed everything the cushions the padding with the sponge the springs everything so it's pretty much brand new i also wrapped some other pieces to go with it so if you look at the armchair and you look at the stool there the material is slightly different it's the same color but the one on the stool has the stitching pattern that is because i went to 
to LP Azar twice. The first time I went, they had the material without the stitching. The second time it was gone, so I had to get both. But I think they work, they both connect together. So I'm not sure which cushion I love better with the chairs, if I like the leaf or the brownish looking ones but i guess when i go to put it in the airbnb i will decide my mind so let me know what you think which one works in the comments which one do you like i also got an ottoman made because with the seating that i have it will only hold five people but as i told you before the airbnb we can go up to six so i've made this specially so i know you guys must be wondering what this costs in comparison to singer our courts i paid less than a hundred thousand to wrap three pieces of sofa plus buying the ottoman in addition to getting 10 cushions made, wrapping the stool, also rewrap an ottoman. So it was well worth it in comparison to court sourcing. So this piece of art I bought some time ago and I knew it was going to be a part of the focal point in the living room. Now look at that cushion. That is why I wanted to get that piece of material from LP Hazard because I knew it would just blend in nicely with that piece of art so it's all about tying everything together for me so guys i'm definitely at the point where i'm waiting on my windows and once those windows are in they're being made currently then i can start bringing all this decor together to show you guys exactly how the place is going to be laid out as usual thanks for your support thanks for being on this journey with me and thank you for you know just helping me to achieve my dreams and goals in becoming a youtuber content creator so until next time guys take care of yourself take care of each other stay motivated go after those goals and achieve them